everyone to the manifestation video. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, guys, let's see what's going on. Come on, guys, I'm going to drink a little water. Right now is the time to manifest. Okay, we do have a great portal open. 929 is open, has been open, will be open for five days. Uh, started... I believe it was on the 27th, so it does have a five-day period um, to get your manifestations out. So we have this beautiful, super <clears throat> full moon uh, that we just went through. Okay, so definitely want to really get those intentions out. Um, I hope you guys started yesterday, or at least started some time within the week, really getting your manifestations out there. Um, of course, that moon, if you guys didn't watch the... Uh, full moon reading. It's not really wasn't about manifesting. It's about reaping what you've sown already and reaping those rewards. It was harvest time, right? And if you've already harvested and already got those rewards, then of course it was time for manifestation. But the portal is still open. So we really want to get in there and get these done. Okay, so that's messages coming out for manifestation. Three cards out, please, Spirit. Is ground yourself. That's a beautiful one for this new moon. Man, I'm telling you. <clears throat> uh, this card is, is a request to you to literally ground yourself. Go outside, go outdoors, take off your shoes, and find somewhere where it is safe to stand barefoot. Imagine roots growing out of your feet, traveling down into the soil beneath you, anchoring you with the nurturing energy of the earth. And especially because this uh, full moon that we just went through yesterday is definitely a grounded, it's semi-grounded um, portal as it is. So let's see what's going on. So definitely wanting to ground yourself, guys. Okay. Next one coming out is let go gracefully. These cards, I'm telling you, they sound almost just like exactly what the, the Harvest Moon was just talking about. Uh, is what it wants you to do. Um, something in your life is calling for you to let it go. Let go gracefully. Whatever has taken place in the past, it is time to move forwards and letting go will make the way for the new. Whether it, this is a person, a situation, or outdated thought or behavior pattern, this card comes to assure you that the new horizons are waiting for you. Remember, because why? Why are we letting go? Because we're clearing our space. Why are we clearing our space? Because we're clearing our space for the new to come in. So any things that you're holding on to from past relationships, let's say that you're holding on to some clothes. Maybe you got that ex-boyfriend shirt. Okay, but it's putting off an energy. An energy of saying, but I'm still here. Okay, those are just examples. Let it go. You have that old car that's sitting in the driveway and it's taking up space and you know that there is nothing you can do to fix that. You know you're never going to fix that, but you want a new car in its place, then you need to let it go so you can make new space in the driveway. Do you see what I'm saying? You know what it is you need to let go of. If you want a new relationship, you need to let go of the old energy from the past relationship. Do not think about that ex. Don't think about what... You know, Timmy did, Timmy's a jerk, Timmy hurt me, Timmy did that, but I really want new love. Well, if you can't release Timmy's energy and the thoughts of Timmy and the things that Timmy did, then why would you want new love? There's no space for the new love because Timmy has all the space. He's got all your heart space, all your mind space, all your energy space. And same for you guys, you males out there. Same thing. If you've got, you know, Tiffany's space, and she's in your mind, and your heart, and in this, whether you like her or don't like her, and it's all negative, it doesn't matter if it's negative or positive, she's still there. Okay? You have to release these things to allow someone else in. Otherwise, there's no space. Make room. As one door closes, another door is supposed to open, and a lot of people are telling me they're not opening the doors. Well, because you're still holding on to the energy of yesterday. You're still holding on to who hurt me, who did this, who did that. 
how much I loved so and so and so and so. Let it go. Allow the space. You can, you can think of it as your body is a temple. It's your house. It's time to clean house. Removing those energies so that you can allow good things to happen, positive things to happen. And like I said, if you're super positive, you, you know, you remove them to let something else positive. Put it in the way back. However, if it's things that are really, really painful, you need to heal from them and release them and let them go. <clears throat> no room for anything else. So yes, you're right. In some ways, as doors close, some doors, they don't open back up because there's no space. There's no room for anything else to come through. Stand your ground. It's time for you to stand your ground. This card brings a clear message, whether in pragmatic action or in holding firm to your own principles and to your own op opinions, excuse me. Whatever your situation, do not give away. This is not a time to back down. This time is right to hold your own and stand your ground. So if somebody's trying to tell you this manifestation's never going to come in, things aren't going to go your way, you stand your ground. You don't give in. You manifested it. It's for you. Remember, also, if it wasn't for you, you wouldn't be the seeing the signs, the coincidences, the synchronicities from spirit. If you're not seeing those things, you're right. They're not for you because you didn't see any of the signs. Absolutely not. But if you're seeing the signs and the synchronicities and you're seeing the things that seem so coincidence, then that means the universe is already on your side. They're already coming in, so you stand your ground. You just say, I don't care what you say. I already see the coincidences. I already heard this song that says something about what I'm manifesting. You know, you could say, I I'm going to become a, a cruise ship director. And I keep hearing, come sail away. Come sail away with me. Well, what the hell? I want this job. The universe just gave you the message. Remember, if we're not seeing the signs, the synchronicities, and the coincidences to the situation, then that means it's not coming in. Absolutely not. Because the universe is not going to give you signs and synchronicities for something he's not going to give you. Maybe he'll give it to you later in life, but not now, right? So, yes, bottom of the deck is stay on course. I'm actually going to put this, um, actually right here on stand your ground. Because that's really where I believe it is. 49 to the 50. You are facing some big stuff in your life right now. This card is a request that you keep going and stay on course. However challenging this may feel. Please be assured that right now, this is the appropriate way forward. The universe supports your direction and slow, steady progress. Is sure, what did I just say? What did I just say? If it wasn't meant for you, I wouldn't give you signs and synchronicities and coincidences. Plain and simple. And you'll know which ones they are coming in because they'll have uh, meaning towards that initial intention. You see what I'm saying? So sometimes some, I also get some messages that are like, well, how do I know which intention it is? How do I know what sign is going towards towards that one. Well, usually it, it's, it comes, and if it, they're just numbers, you won't know, my friends. You probably won't know. You're right. It's going to be, then it's going to be that big surprise, right? But if it's music and songs, you're going to know it right away, right? If it's on TV or something, you know what I mean? You know, I'm going to go to beauty school, and then all of a sudden I see uh, beauty salon things on TV or something. You see what I'm saying? You're going to know then. So, ground yourself gets another card on the ground yourself. Difficult emotions. Make sure you ground yourself in difficult emotions. 11. 
This card asks you to listen to your emotions. Energy in motion, right? Every emotion we have is necessary and important to us, even the challenging ones. Difficult feelings are letting you know that something is not okay. Learn to understand and love your emotions and discover how they serve you. Every emotion is made for everything, whether it's a bad emotion, a sad emotion, a negative emotion, a positive emotion. That's what they're saying. Every emotion is made for a reason. So watch your emotions. Yes, when you are manifesting, you're going to try to keep as positive as possible. But is there, what are you, a robot? Don't think that just because, oh my gosh, it said 11, it just said 1044 on the clock. Wow. Um, that was crazy. I looked at the 11. Oh, okay. I'm manifesting as well. So I'm seeing a lot of numbers too, guys. So that just kind of threw me off because I was like, what? Um, <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah. Anyways, what I was saying was there, there are certain, remember you have some negative ones that are protecting you. Because remember, your ego mind, that little voice inside your head that's always negative, it's always your overprotection. Your intuition, you know, is, says as positive as possible because it wants you to see the positive in the situation. That's what moves us and keeps us taking leaps of faith. But that little one, you know, is always negative because it's, it's your protective mode. That's your protection. That's what keeps you scared. That's what keeps you fearful. But you can't always do that because if you always let, listen to that little ego mind within you, it always wants to bring up emotions and negative things that bring in other types of emotions that are not necessary. Right? But most of your emotions are, they're all necessary one way or another. Right? But you have to ground, ground yourself and ground out what is necessary and what's ne not necessary at this time. You see what I'm saying? So you're not over emotional. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. God, I hope that makes sense. <laughs> I was like, did I say that right? Whoa, I hope I said that right. Okay. Okay, bless your past. Letting go gracefully. See, everything's adding up. Oh my gosh, see, and that's three plus two equals five, and that's five. Eleven and eleven is twenty-one, right? And that's twenty-one. Everything is synchronized. Fifty, forty-nine, going in a row. Okay, sweet. I like that when that happens. A useful tool to help us let go of any emotional residue. There we go. Grounding ourselves, letting it go, standing your ground, stay on course. Difficult emotions with the bless your past. There it is, my friends. A useful tool to help us let go of any emotional residue that is still clinging to us from the past experience is to bless your past. Bless it. Say thank you for the obstacles and the challenges because all it did was make me stronger. We're all going to have them anyways. So bless it. And think about what was the lesson that I learned from the situation. Because like I said, it only makes you stronger. Whenever the memory of the event or person comes to mind, pause and say to yourself, I bless every aspect of my past. And I celebrate the, cont the contribution that it gave me in becoming the person that I am today. So when you think about that, Timothy, or that Tiffany, instead of thinking about how they hurt you and how they pissed you off and how they took advantage of you and what a piece of POS they are and this and that and that and this, think about what did I learn about the situation? I bless this past that I had the opportunity to be with this person because they taught me what I'm going to put up with and what I'm not going to put up with. And then I'm not someone's side piece or I'm not someone to walk on. I'm not your doormat. I am worth more than that. See the point? They've made you grow actually grown from the situation so instead of using it as a victim tool or a tool of just overall disappointment and loss and grief and woe is me you can say how much have I become today what have I grown what have I learned from that situation what did I learn from that karmic person because that was obviously a karmic that I needed to learn something from, you know. And when I think about these situations and it says, 
uh, bless your past that they did that, it makes you want to, maybe you want to just sit back and say, you know what, since I learned so much about you, I wonder if you learned something about me. Maybe you learned what true love was and I gave it to you, even though you don't know how to get it back. But maybe, maybe somewhere deep down inside you, you learned something too. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you for allowing this job to fall. Because you know what? I found a better job. Thank you for allowing me to have a shitty boss because now I know what kind of job I do not want to be in or what I deserve and what I don't deserve because that's really what it all comes down to is what do you deserve, my friends, and what do you not deserve? That's what learning lessons are and how much are you worth and how much you're going to take. And then you're going to realize that by letting go gracefully, blessing the past of the universe, allowing these tests to come to you because life is nothing but a learning game and a test and tribulation. You're going to learn that the more that I keep doing things, the more I keep learning, the better I find better things. But if I play victim about everything on every aisle, I will not have blessings come in the way I want them to. I might be blessed with a new opportunity, a new job, but it might end up the same exact way as the last asshole I worked for. <laughs> right? Or I might be blessed with a new love relationship and find out that she or he is almost the same as the other one. But if I bless the situation and know that I can let go, I can bring something beautiful in. And I don't want to hold contentment about um, I can't have new love because they are like Tiffany or Timothy because not everybody is that way. You can't put other people in other people's shoes. Right? So we have to watch that one too. So many different situations going on in those uh, areas. So, <clears throat> so definitely wanting to watch those types of situations and look at your own situation, my friends, and of what resonates with you. Okay? This is a general reading, but I am trying my hardest to get as many things out there. Because more than anything, it's a general reading, but it's also a learning reading. Right? Because I'm just teaching you what I learned and what I've been learning for the last six months on my journey. Right? So we're going to get some self-care, some self-care cards over here. So this one over here with ground yourself in difficult emotions with the right emotions, energy in motion. Right? Is 31. Look to the stars. So looking to the stars is talking about, let's just see what that one says really fast. It says the stars reflect my magic, my manifestations, my blessings, as above, so below. Right? This card is representing how humans experience Experience reflects the movements of the stars in the universe, just as the ancestors did. We can look at the heavens for insight into our shared experiences as people on this planet. So astrology is a powerful tool for recognizing patterns impacting the collective consciousness, which we can often see play out among our friends, family, lovers, community, our jobs, and our own life. Deepen your understanding of yourself and the astrological patterns through self-study or by working with professional astrologer. You can attune yourself into different astrological seasons. You can gain great insight into what energies are working in your favor. This practice will allow you to flow with the energies instead of feeling like you are swimming in the opposite ways. Yeah, you don't want to you don't want to go against the grain. Right? You want to dance with the universe, not against the universe. Allow your life to be in sync and synchronized with the universe. Because that's how we get our magic. That's how we get our manifestations going. That's how we create. Co when we co-create, that's how we get things done. By making sure that we are aligned. And the alignment is showing that 2-2-2. Those synchronized patterns. 
And that's why your manifestations are coming in when you do see those things. That's why I'd said earlier, if you are not seeing the signs and the coincidences, then that means your, your manifestations are not coming in. Why? Because you're dancing with the universe. You are aligned with the universe. And they want you to see that you are aligned. And the more that you stay in line, the more you make the magic happen. You are all tuned in. And sometimes we get tuned in to certain times and we can stay tuned in for our life. Sometimes you might see these numbers for almost your whole life. Once you stay attuned to the universe, you might not have the coincidences as much, but you might have the synchronized numbers if you are staying aligned, right? Which is good because that means you're just going to keep manifesting and co-creating because you got it. You got it now, right? Like go, go, go. Okay. So letting go gracefully is a massage, giving yourself the massage that you need, making sure that you are keeping yourself healthy, strong, keeping your PowerPoints, you know, activated, keeping yourself so that you do not have any stress, no tension. Your body does not need tension. You are fully relaxed and feeling peaceful within your body. Okay. Stand your ground. Be still. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And I love be still too, because remember too, when we're doing any kind of meditation or um, <clears throat> waiting for messages from the universe, it, it says in every text, right? Even the Bible, it says, be still so you can hear me. Be still and listen. It's like, God, how do I hear you? Be still and listen. That's that intuition. That's that knowing that that, you know, that light bulb going off where you get some creative idea and you can say, I don't even know where that came from. No, you don't. It's because it came from your higher self, it came from the universe, that thought, that feeling. You might even hear something, literally hear a voice, right? So be still and listen to your, your body. Be still and listen to the universe, right? What is going on around you? In stillness, I find my center and hear the messages meant for me through this time. And remember, guys, all manifestations come with trials and tribulations. The bigger the the bigger the uh, manifestation that you're looking for, the more tests and trials you will go through. The smaller, some are so small you won't even really have them. And then you know, but the bigger that they get and get depends on what you want. Right. So getting out the affirmations now, my friends. Beautiful messages for this month. I love it. Today is the day. And I love that because remember what I tell you guys. We don't want to say our, our subconscious mind does not understand the future. It only understands today in the present. When you are doing visualization and you ask for things you ask for in the present and you do everything in the present, today is the day. Pretty sure I said this in the last manifestation video was, um, I hope today is a good day. No, you don't hope today is a good day. Today is a good day because you're in the present now. Your mind doesn't know the future. Not like that. It doesn't, because it doesn't understand that. It cannot recept what's happening in the future that way in manifestation ways. So everything you're visualizing, everything you're scripting, if you are scripting out your journal for the day of what you want in your life, you're doing it from today's present. Today I am driving my BMW X5. Not tomorrow I was doing, no. Today I am sitting with my love of my life and we are enjoying a good salad. Not tomorrow, today. The only limit to our realization of tomorrow will be our adult today. It does not understand tomorrow. Next affirmation. I am loved, loving, and lovable. Keep telling yourself, you know. If you have good thoughts, they will shine out of your face like sunbeams, and you will always look lovely. Telling yourself, today is a good day. I am loved, lovable, and loving. I do what I love. I love what I do. A lot of people are afraid to say what they want. That's why they don't get what they want. Or 
before, you're putting it into the future. One day becomes one day becomes one day becomes one day becomes one day. Do you understand the process? And it never gets there. Today is the day for the rest of your life. You plant the four corners of the stones today. You're planting your foundation today. You guys are awesome. You guys are awesome and you totally got this. Okay. And those are your three affirmations for the rest of the month until we do the next one. Okay. You can always come back. Okay. I'll put them here so that way if you guys want to come back, you can see them. Okay. To keep those with you. These are great. This one's great for every day of your life. That's, you know, it's just great for everything. Love, finance, your life. How about that? Until next time, my friends. Peace and love. Bye-bye.